for step 1, place the auto level at the center and place a uh, staff at pack A at 50 meter from the auto level and take the reading which is 1.313 meter. Then place the staff reading at pack B 15 away from back of the auto level and take the reading which is 1.296 meter. Step 2 Place the auto level 5 meter away from the pack B and attack the reading of both pack A and pack B which is 1.578 meter and 1.564 meter. After that, the difference between step 1 and step 2 pack A 1.313 meter minus by pack B that is 1.296 meter equal to 0 0.017 meter and for step 2 pack A is 1.578 meter and pack B is 1.564 meter then we get 0 0.014 meter. Then we will calculate the difference of the calculation of step 1 and step 2 that is 0 0.017 minus by 0 0.014 meter equal to 0 0.003 meter. Therefore, the auto level is in a good condition and can be used at the site. The leveling process begins at temporary benchmark 1, that is TBM1, and the reduced level of TBM1 is 33.448 meter. A distance of 30 meter is measured by 30 footsteps from TBM1 to checkpoint 1. The auto level with tripod stand is set up at the level position 1 which is 15 meter from TBM1 that is measured by 15 foot step. The leveling staff is held vertically at the TBM1 and the reading of the staff is taken and recorded in equation table which is 1.376 meter. And the reading staff is taken. Reading is a back side because it is the first staff reading after the instrument is set up. The remark of equation table is written as TBM1. Another staff is moved to checkpoint 1, that is CP1, and the reading is taken and record which is 1.065. This is a foresight. This is called foresight because after this reading, the auto level will be moved and the remark of the equation table is written as CP1. The leveling staff will stay at CP1 and the auto level will be moved and set up to level position 2, it is here. Then the staff reading is taken and recorded which is 1.310 meter. This is a back sign. By using rise and fall method, the reduced level of CP1 is calculated and adjusted to 33.759 meter. Another staff is moved to checkpoint 2 and the reading is taken and recorded which is 1.175 meter. And this is a foresight. This is called foresight because after this reading, the automatic level will be moved. The remark of the equation table is written as CP2. The leveling staff stay at CP2 and the auto level will be moved and set up to level position 3 that is here. Then the staff reading is taken and recorded which is 1.3 at 6 meter. This is a backside. By using a rise and fall method, the reduced level of CP2 is calculated and adjusted to 33.864 meter. Another staff is moved to checkpoint 3 that is CP3 
and the reading is taken and recorded which is 1.302 meter and this is a foresight. The remark of the equation table is written as CP3. The leveling staff will stay at CP3 and the auto level will be moved and set up to level position 4 that is here. Then the staff reading is taken and recorded which is 1.202 meter. This is a backside. By using rise and fall method, the reduced level of CP3 is calculated and adjusted to 33.78 meter. Then the staff is moved to temporary benchmark, the new temporary benchmark that we label as GN. And the reading is taken and recorded which is 1.283 meter. This is a foresight. The remark of the equation table is written as GN. The process of leveling is repeated until we come back from GN to TBM1. After that, the auto level is set up at level position 5, that is here. The staff level at G at, the reading is 1.262 and this is a backside. By using rise and fall method, the reduced level of G at is calculated and adjusted to 33.997 meter. The leveling staff at CP4 and the reading is 1.266 meter is recorded. This is foresight. The remark of the equation table written as CP4. The leveling staff will stay at CP4 and the auto level will be moved and set up to level position 6. That is here. Then the staff reading is taken and recorded which is 1.2 at 5 meter, this is backside. By using rise and fall method, the reduced level of CP4 is calculated and adjusted to 33.993 meter. Another staff is moved to checkpoint 5, that is here. And the reading of it is taken and recorded which is 1.373 meter and this is a fault sign. The remark of the equation table is written as CP5. The leveling staff will stay at CP5 and the auto level will be moved and set up to level position 7. That is here. Then the staff reading is taken and recorded which is 1.164 meter. This is backside. By using rise and fall method, the reduced level CP5 is calculated and adjusted to 33.905 meter. Another staff is moved to checkpoint 6 and the reading of it is taken and recorded which is 1.3 at 6 meter and this is a foresight. The remark of the equation table is written as CP6. The leveling staff will stay at CP6 and the auto level will be moved and set up to level position at. Then the staff reading is taken and recorded which is 1.134 meter and this is backside. By using rise and fall method, the reduced level of CP6 is calculated and adjusted to 33.6 at 3 meter. Another staff is moved to TBM1 and the reading of it taken and recorded which is 1.35 at meter and this is foresight. The remark of the equation table is written as TBM1. The reduced level of TBM1 is 33.459 meter. This is the equation table that I mentioned before. I recorded all the value that I get from the procedure, then I put it in this equation table. Here we have BS, FS, rise fall, reduced level and remarks. For rise and fall, we need to minus BS here to this FS. If the answer is positive and the result 
is rice. But if the answer, example like here, we get negative and the result is false. Reduce level here, the TBM1 is 33.44 at. We must plus and minus to the rise and fall. For remark CP1, we plus 33.44 at to 0 0.311, then we get 33.759 meter. We repeat the same method until this part. Then we get 33.997. If is it false, then we must minus it. 33.997 meter minus by 0 0.004, then we get 33.993 meter. Then we repeat the same method then until the end. This is the error of misclosure. We can get error of misclosure from these three methods. Total of BS minus by total FS, that is 10.219 minus by 10.208. Then we get 0 0.011 meter. Then the second method that is Total of rise minus by total of fall, that is 0 0.549 minus by 0 0.538. Then we get 0 0.011 meter. The last step is last RL. RL is reduced level minus by first RL. That is 33.459 minus by 33.4. 448 then we get 0 0.011 meter for accepted misclosure 0 0.240 times by 0 0.8 then we get 0 0.192 and this is the formula of accepted misclosure plus minus 20 square root by care equal to plus minus 0 0.02 square root by 0 0.192 meter then we get plus minus 0 0.009 meter that is the accepted misclosure the accepted misclosure is 0 0.009 meter but the error of misclosure that we get is 0 0.011 meter Therefore, our misclosure is not accepted. That is because we get 0 0.003 meter more than the accepted table needed. The last equation table that I have mentioned, that is rise and fall method equation table. For this equation table, this is adjusted data the equation table. The equation table same as the rise and fall method equation table but in this table we just plus by adjustment and adjustment reduce level. So the formula that we use to get the adjustment is last RL minus by last TBM and divide by how many BS that we have. So in this case 33.459 minus by 33.448 then we get 0 0.011 then we divide by add bs then we get 0 0.0013 something then we round off it then we get 0 0.001 then we plus the adjustment to the second adjustment then we repeat it until we get this so for adjustment reduce level, we need to plus reduce level and adjustment. So for example, the first adjustment reduce level, 33.759 plus by 0 0.001, then we get 33.760. Then we repeat the same method until the end. Then we get 33.467 and that's all for me